Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace and blessings of Almighty be upon everybody. Brothers and sisters, recently there was a verdict from Karnataka High Court regarding the hijab ban. And since that particular verdict is not acceptable to any Muslims, there are protests happening all over the country. Even there are more than 100 protests happened in Tamil Nadu itself. In that, few of the members of TNTJ has been arrested mentioning that they have spoken in a way which would incite violence. While hundreds of protests happening, few of the protests have been marked in this way, but rest of the protests and the speeches were peaceful and were not found with any issues. And some of the frenzy elements and especially Sang Parivar is taking this opportunity and trying to paint a very bad picture about the entire Muslim community, in particular to Tamil Nadu, Tauhi Jamaat, that they believe in radicalization. They are inciting violence. They wanted to do such violence and they are trying to murder or trying to kill the judges. Something like that they are trying to paint the uh, picture. Tamil Nadu, Tauhi Jamaat strongly condemn the violence, the terrorism, radicalization, we don't support that. In fact, we are against it. We have conducted campaigns in the past, month-long campaigns in the past against violence, against terrorism. We have spoken a lot against that. And our members are preaching against terrorism. We are preaching against radicalization. We are pre preaching against violence. This, this is our history in Tamil Nadu. In fact, Tamil Nadu Tauhi Jamaat, mainly a social organization which does not involve in political things. We generally preach Islam in its purest form. And in Islam, there is a saying that Ad-Dinu an nasiha That means, Islam is nothing but thinking good about or doing good to others. So when we believe in that, we will definitely not do such bad thing. And such words, we are not subscribed to the words or the uh, speeches from those two, three uh, uh, speakers. We condemn such speeches. We have uh, initiated a action taking committee and based on their report there will be strict actions against the people who have spoken. Since we don't endorse in those kind of uh, speeches that we wanted to make it very clear and while we hear from speakers who are currently arrested and they also don't believe out of their emotion when see a huge crowd and uh, when the emotions are running high when they believe that whatever the verdict came from the high court is wrong out of their emotion and out of control, some words have come out of our mouth and we feel sorry about it and we, we have never intended to do. That's their stand. Even after that, we believe they should have been more responsible. They should have been more uh, controlled while delivering their speeches because Islam does not permit it and yes, Tamil Nadu Tauhi Jamaat Baila does not permit it. We strongly condemn that and we have mentioned very clearly that we are against it and we will be ne taking necessary action based on the action taking committee's uh, report. While thousands of speakers involved in delivering speeches across Tamil Nadu, when our, one or few people have spoken in this way, how can you paint an organization that this is actually supporting this kind of an idea? We don't do that. Because of the, they were not having an ill intention to do this. It is out of emotion it has come up. Because the verdict is questioning the Islam. That's the problem here. So if you are delivering a judgment based on the constitution, if you are delivering the judgment based on the law book, there won't be any issues. But in the judgment, they are uh, claiming one word that wearing hijab is not part of Islam. It is not an essential religious practice. We openly challenge, we are calling for the debate. Whoever is believed or whoever is interested to debate in that way, that hijab is not part of the Islam. It is not an essential religious practice. We, we are openly challenging them and we are calling for the debate. You come and prove us that hijab is not part of Islam. Chapter 33 verse 59 very clearly saying that hijab is mandatory for all believing women. That is Muslim women. That is very clearly mentioned in the Quran. And there are a lot of other things, other hadiths, other verses also there. If somebody is believing that Islam is not preaching that uh, and they, we are trying to make uh, an issue out of this particular judgment, we are calling them for a debate. You come and prove us. Such things are making their emotions running high and uh, they are delivering this. Still, we don't support them. That's what I wanted to say. Even after such uh, acts by the authorities, such acts by the Sang Pariva, we should not get ignited and uh, deliver such pieces. We don't believe and we condemn. 
but we just wanted to say that you are questioning islam in which you don't have expertise that's what we wanted to say you could have delivered a judgment based on the constitution that's fine you are saying that it is not part of islam no it is not true if you believe so if you wanted to prove that it is not part of islam come for a debate let us talk about it let's debate about it let people decide who is actually trying to lie and trying to make an issue out of this when you talk about the such speeches there are thousands of organizations are there and some of the speakers of those organization is also giving similar kind of speeches and you would not be calling everybody as a terrorist right the entire organization as terrorist right you should be considering that specific instead of painting the entire organization that's what we wanted to say because speakers in several organizations have spoken in that way also in the past but you are not painting them since tamil nadu tauhid jamaat is an islamic organization which is bringing peace in tamil nadu which is a gelling factor between hindus and muslims we are a catalyst force here for the hindu muslim uh, unity the sang parivar does not want that we they wanted to big a bad picture about us and they wanted to break uh, hindus and muslims that's what they wanted to do in fact tamil nadu tauhid jamaat known for its uh, social activities for years we were part of all the calamities we have supported the people we have supported we were with uh, fellow indians we were with uh, fellow tamil people during the crisis scenarios like tsunami uh, crisis scenarios like uh, covid uh, crisis scenarios like floods crisis scenarios like uh, storms we were the front runners in uh, delivering the uh, service to the people everybody in tamil nadu knows about it we are known for that and in blood donation we are the one of the top most Uh, organization in the tamil nadu for uh, consecutively for uh, 10 years we have been uh, given with uh, medals for topping the list of uh, blood donors even during the uh, emergency situations we are donating blood and we have been uh, rewarded and uh, acknowledged for that particular efforts so the people knows about it but some other people wants to paint a bad picture so we wanted to very clearly uh, say and we wanted to conclude that the speeches given by those three individuals it's against our bylaw it is against islam they have not done it with ill intention it has came out of their emotions still it is not acceptable and we condemn their action action taken committee has been formed based on the report necessary and strict actions will be taken and we submit in front of the media and fellow indians that please look out the whole picture instead of hearing from one person please read about our history what we were doing in tamil nadu for all these years and how we we are bringing peace in tamil nadu acting as a responsible organization how we have supported people of tamil nadu during crisis scenarios how we are working together during the crisis scenarios with our fellow uh, hindu brothers so that would be good from every indian and responsible citizens thank you